Hello everyone and welcome back to the forest. Um, there's, I don't know what exactly has happened on YouTube for you guys because actually, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna jump right back into the forest. I know that the last episode was, you know, like a slice with strife. Stri wow, where did that, uh, where did that lisp come from? Anyway, I know that the last episode was pretty much a slice with strife and, you know, it was supposed to be a one-off and I'm supposed to wait for you guys, but... Uh, I've got, uh, I've got packs coming up, like, this is gonna go, this episode, this video is going to go up whenever I'm in San Antonio, so it's like, I've got a plan ahead, I can't really do reactionary work, so I don't really have the, uh, the week to work with you guys. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna play more Forest, because, uh, like, I really do wanna play more of this on my own, etc. Um, and, uh, whatnot, so, jeez, what does it take? Is it a stick, cloth, and rope? Oh my god, yes it is! A crafted bow! Okay, so... Right off, there you go! Um... I've, I've figured out how to make a bow! <laughs> Can we, uh... Well, that didn't work. <laughs> um... If I hit B, I can open up inf information here. Food and water, shelter... What is this? Foraging... Survival... Ah. You know what? Nothing to worry about there. And it doesn't look like the cannibals are going to come for me up here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, uh, Z to sleep for the night. I'm going to wake up really hungry and thirsty, but, uh, better something than nothing, right? Uh, but also, because I'm here, got all of these freaking berry bushes up at the mountain here. And let's go ahead and equip my spear. So what do I want? What do I want to do this time around? Well, there we go. Get a chunk of meat, and uh, the fire should be still be going. Yeah, the fire's still going. So I can go ahead and uh, hit R and put a little bit of meat on there. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take a bit of a bath. Uh, I've got this pond over here. Is it deep enough for me to take a swim? Hey, it is. Nice. Okay, so. Um, Oh, hey, check it out, those berries actually gave me my hydration back as well, that's great! Okay, so... Do I... Oh my god, I actually have a lot of freaking food on me. Okay, well I don't want that stuff to spoil, so I think, um... We'll go ahead and eat this. I've got- I've- I've, I've basically got to set up a, uh, a proper perimeter and stuff today. Uh, uh, this- this round, etc. So, what I'll do, I think, is... Raw fresh. This stuff looks like it. The the meat here looks like it's starting to go bad. Um, let's uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of sticks, and let's. What was it? It was B. I want to I want to make some storage or no no food and water. Here we go. Um, here we go. A drying rack, ideal for drying and preserving meats. So we can get. I guess we can just put this right there. And then, it takes like five sticks, I'll have to get more, jeez. And now, like, you know, the, the, the collecting and the crafting begin, as it were, so... I mean, I could use my axe for this, but I'm, I'm pretty good doing it this way. And for that matter, I think that I can make a better axe than the one that I've got. Like, this is, uh, the plain axe is actually really good for attacking. Wait a minute. I've got a frick- Oh, son of a- Let's see if we can, let's see if I can sneak up on this, this, uh, deer over here. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting deer. Oh my god. One shot and it was down. That's nice! <laughs> oh my god, perfect. Okay, so, and then we can go ahead and grab that, and, uh... Oh, yes, I know, I'm covered in blood. There's no need to point it out to me every single chance you get. There we go. Okay, we can go ahead and hang up all of this meat so uh, so it dries out, and oh right, I've got the uh, I've got the bow equipped still. Let's go ahead and equip this. There we go. And uh, oh geez, what was it? I think it's I think it's that plus a rock and a rope. There we go, a crafted axe. Okay, and we can go ahead and equip this. And I think that this will allow me to chop down trees. Um, two, three, thirteen chops to get it down? Okay. Um, and if I switch to the other axe, how much does it take? One, 
to... Okay, so it, it takes like 19 chops, so yeah, the uh, the stone axe is way better for picking stuff up. Oh my god, that just dropped a whole crap load of sticks. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, let's get hit B again here. I've gotta get my, uh, I've gotta get my stuff in order. We'll create a log holder, here we go. A nice, uh, a nice fancy log holder. Right here, next to the, uh, next to the rack. And I don't have anywhere near enough sticks, um, so I'll have to, I'll have to find more freaking sticks. Oh my god, there's so much to do, there's so much to do! Aha, got a rabbit. Okay, let's go ahead and skin this baby. Rabbit skins. Rabbit skins are crazy, crazy important in this game because they're used in a million and a half craftables. I'm pretty sure that I mentioned that in episode one there. Um, oh my god, there's another rabbit. Come back here, you wascally wabbit. There we go. Oh my god, this is great. Okay, now that I've got two skins, I think that I've got everything that I need. Um, if I open up my inventory here. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's three. It's three of these, uh, these rags. One rabbit fur and two ropes, it looks like. Jeez, that's, uh, that's, that's a lot. Man, is that ever a lot. Okay, and the rock bag, I think... I think, I think the rock bag, well, the rock bag takes more freaking sticks. Like always. Like always, it's gonna take more sticks. So, there we go. That's all done. Now I can go ahead and run over here and pick up these logs. Look at me. I'm freaking Herculean over here. I can... I can pick up so many of these at the same time. Um, hit C to put them in the log holder. Okay, so, uh, now that I'm all dried off and stuff, you see, um, I'm, I'm gonna point this out to you guys. You see how I've got that bar, uh, on the, well, it's basically the only hunk of UI that I've got, where it keeps track of my hunger, my health, my hydration, and my stamina. So the green bar is my stamina, and the blue bar is my maximum stamina. Your maximum stamina runs out over time, and there are a couple of ways to recharge it. I can, like, drink uh, energy drinks or sodas in my inventory, but the cheapest way to do it is to come in here, come into furniture, and tab over to this. See? Wooden bench. So this is the cheapest thing that I can make to ref uh, refill my energy, and I always put this in front of the fire because it's a great place for me to hang out um, at the end of the day or something. So I'll go ahead and take two logs and then there we go. And I just sit down on the bench and you see that my, uh, my energy maximum is filling, which is great. Oh, look, the deer is back. Let's equip the bow. We'll get the uh, skin off of this deer. And Get the wa uh, get the skin off of it, and I've got two. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go with the axe. I'm gonna go go with the axe for now. Uh, I've got two of these deer skin. I think I just need one rope. So seven cloth to make one rope, and then two deer skin. Aha! Okay, so I've made a water skin. Now I have something that I can carry water to hydrate myself with. Um, as it currently stands, though, I do not have any water to actually pick up and store. So that's what we need to do next. I'm gonna... I need to find a turtle. Obviously, turtles hang out near, uh, where water is, so, um, let's... Let's start looking for turtles. That's another rabbit. That's another rabbit. Get the rabbit. Oh, my god. Oh, man, I'm doing so well. So many freaking rabbit pelts. Oh, can't carry any more rabbit pelts. Okay, so, um, since I'm maxed out on rabbit pelts, I think... Crack the rope. What the heck did it just make? It's a quiver. Ah, crap. Okay, so that was a quiver. Um, at least I've got another rabbit skin here. I mean, ooh, and another rabbit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, rabbit. It's you or me. There are plenty of you out there, out here. I mean, you, you breed fast enough, so... If it's two of those... I think that this is a berry pouch? Um... Okay, no, that's not it. Oh my god, jeez, that takes a lot. Okay, let's let's actually t take a look at that crafting recipe, because I could swear that this has changed. I remember making a rock bag in the past, so... To make a rock bag, two... Rabbit fur... Two rope... One cloth... Three rope... Three rope, three rabbit fur, and one cloth. Wow, that is expensive! Okay, well... I did it. I did it. I got myself a frickin' rock bag so I can carry more rocks now. <laughs> okay. That'll come in handy whenever I'm, like, building defenses and stuff. Come back here, you little frickin'... Man, I cannot believe how many frickin' rabbit furs I'm getting! I'm so lucky! 
Oh, freaking hell. <laughs> okay, so with a stick bag, I'm gonna go ahead and combine two rabbit furs and make a freaking berry pouch. So that's something. I can go ahead and collect up berries, um, etc. Oh, great, I'm covered in blood. Okay, well, let's take a little bit of a swim then. Aha, okay, so right along the edge of the water, I found a turtle. I can't really damage it all that well, but I do have this improvised axe. Haha. <laughs> okay, so if I hold down E. Okay. There's some uh, meat. Did I get. Uh, there we go, I got a turtle shell, so I can only carry one of these at a time. Haha. <laughs> all the feathers, they belong to me. Um. I don't think that I need to bother with any of the meat, though. I'm perfectly fine on meat right now. And I know where to go for, um, additional... Oh, hey, check it out. It's the nose of the plane. Oh, no, I'm full on rocks. Okay, so, uh, this is the nose of the plane. Do we have anything interesting here? A circuit board. Ah, flare gun. Nice. Okay. What's this? TV stars wife dies. Real. Huh. There's a lot of circuit boards in here, but not much to be said for the frickin'... Not much to be said for the, uh, the pilots. Yeah, there's not- there's not much to be, uh, garnered or collected from, uh, from this. I think, um, where's the sun? Yeah, the sun is in the, uh, in- in the process of going down, so I think I had best head back to base. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find any more... Actually, there was a- there was a camp on the- on, on that side of the river. That way. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go look for it. Oh my god, there's a whole freaking hill full of suitcases over here? Oh no, it's the- it's the crappy suitcases that can't be opened. Well, crap. Okay. We'll- we'll- we'll keep busting open these, uh... We'll keep busting open these babies and uh, figure out ugh, where the uh, where the little village that I wanted to find was. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and combine cloth and alcohol to make molotovs. Really fill my inventory up good, hey? Aha, okay, I found the camp. Oof, and I am I am bushwhacked here. Uh Let's combine some more of the alcohol to make more Molotovs, as many as I can carry. Okay, I've, I'm, I've maxed out on Molotovs here. Oh man. This, this doesn't look like something that survivors from the crash would have set up. What's this? That's a crucifix. Missionaries? I think that this is a cave entrance over here. I wouldn't be surprised. I know that the- I know that they are down in the caves, as we found out from last episode- Ooh, what's this? Oh, hey, this looks like- That's an X! Oh, is the last picture that I picked up an X too? Not a- Man, there's a lot of alcohol out here. Oh, yeah, sure enough, that's a cave entrance. I'll have to- I'll have- Like, I really don't like the caves, but I mean, you, you kind of have to go into them. That and the fact that there's some really good upgraded tools. Like, I have a basic axe here, I also have the stone axe that I made, but there are far better axes in the game that, um... At least one. Oof. Check that out. Killed him. What are I- Okay, so there we go. Uh, let us... Uh, it's getting dangerously, uh... Dangerously late. I gotta head back to base. Ah, alright, I'm back. Home sweet hunting shack. Um, I need to set up a, uh, a rain collector. Yeah, that's right, a rain collector. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, hit B. Uh, got a whole bunch of extra notes, actually. What do we have here? Um, nature guide, marigold. Already found those. Which are the red flowers? The longhead sea turtle. Aha, yes, the longhead sea turtle, which is important, because as soon as it rains, um, I'll have a way to, you know, uh, collect water because of our wonderful... Ooh, wait, I need to... I need to eat this off the fire before it burns. <laughs> Whoopsie. There we go, okay, now I'm all full up, and... Let's hit B, we need to set up a rain collector. 
uh, main index, food and water. Here we go, water collector. So we'll go ahead and put this just right over here is fine. And just hit a whole bunch. And just four sticks and a, rain, uh, a turtle shell inverted and that'll collect all the water I need. I think what I need to do now is build some defenses or at least get started on building defenses. So we'll come into B, uh, come into, let's see, custom building. And we want, here we go, rock walls. So uh, rock walls, obviously, like there are tons and tons of stones all over the place here. Um, everywhere I look, there is a, there seems to be a rock wall. So the way you do it is you just click once and you start to extend this wall out like so. Boom. Just like that. And just smack you a whole bunch and there you go. Oh, hey, berry bush. I almost forgot about this. So I can also equip a berry bush here and I can hold E to put berries in my bag. How do you like that, huh? Beautiful. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and equip the crafted axe and uh, just run around and collect up tons and tons of rocks until I can uh, until I can get some sleep for the night, right? Perfect. Oof. All right, slept through the night to the day. Uh, still don't really have anything for uh, for food coming through here, um, or, or for water coming through here. But I do have food that I can put on to the. Uh, Onto the barbie, you know, just throw it up on a barbie, as they as they like to say. Even though I'm I'm not Australian, though though I can I can definitely make an effort to sound Australian as as faux Australian as possible. You know, uh, just absolutely like uh, the only people I will fool in in regards to my Australian accent are people who are legitimately not Australian and don't know what what it, what it actually. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> Okay, so there's all the, uh, there's, there's some nice food for me, but I also need, um, water. Now, this is the reason why I chose to make camp... Oh, oh my god, I thought that deer was a frickin'... Oh, I thought it was a cannibal for a minute there. This is the reason why I chose to make camp next to a pond, because even though I shouldn't drink it, I do have a source of water. Okay, so that that that's that's not good for me. It makes me a little bit sick, and it w it will actually harm um, my health. But you know, I'm all right for now. I, I I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna keep collecting up these rocks. Oh my God, look at it! It's a thing of beauty, everyone. My first defensive structure, one stone wall. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up the building op option again, and we'll come right back. And we'll place another wall. This one, I think, will will stretch right up over here. There we go. And we'll hit B again, and we'll start building another wall. It's going to take me for freaking ages. So, like, it's going to be just a little bit at a time here and there. Once in a while, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a bit of a... I'll, I'll work a bit on the wall, and then I won't work on the wall. And like yeah, so 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 let's let's just get the let's get the wire frame laid out for this baby, right here. Little bit at a time. I did place that in the right spot, right? Yeah, I did. Because something that I've learned is that the cannibals, they actually cannot, um, they can't cross uh, one of these walls. Like they 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 don't have the AI or the capacity to go over them. So. Uh, these stone walls are fantastic, and and as you've seen, like there's crazy amounts of stone in this game. I I just I can't believe how much of of it there is, um, and it respawns at such an incredible pace. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm almost done there. Man, I'm setting up so many of these freaking stone walls. I'm I'm setting up myself up basically enough space to build uh, to create custom buildings, a little bit like the way that you do in Rust. Oh God, Rust played a lot of that game. Over the years, haven't uh, uh, last year, and we'll extend it right back to here. Timber. Okay, so uh, with all of that done, let's go ahead and get to building the next thing that I need, which is going to be a couple of garden plots. So we'll hit B, um, main index. It's gonna be food and water. Here we go. Small garden plot. This is what I'm looking for. Hold R a little bit, and we'll go ahead and place it right there. Pick that up, and we need just two logs. 
There we go. Now let's go ahead and build a second one just for good measure, right? Right next to it. And we'll grab two more logs. One, two. There we go. And I can go ahead and plant up just all of the freaking seeds that I have, which isn't too, that many. Um, actually, only enough for one garden plot. But, you know, we'll make use of uh, everything that we can. Now I'm going to be growing up my own, uh, what you call it? Um, uh, aloe and whatnot for medicine, etc. Okay, so I think that this is all the logs, and I have just enough space in my, uh, my log holder there. Okay, hey, that's great. So this has been another episode of uh, the forest. I've got uh, I've got Fort Strife uh, on the go here, and um, I'm you know next episode I think what I'm going to end up doing is heading out and finding some of the more dangerous locations. And it's possible to make like a map marker and stuff in this game so that it's like um, you know if I run to the other side of the map I'll still have this little house marker right here where my base is so that I'll always be able to find my way back. So what I think I'm going to end up doing um, next time around is uh, you can make markers that will uh, help you to highlight locations and always know how to get back to them. So I'll head out to some of the more dangerous places that I, uh, I'm going to have to, you know, delve into. Like, I'm definitely going to need, you know, some proper armor and uh, better equipment, etc. But I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And uh, between then and now, since I seem to have such a s secure and stable base... Um, I'll, I'll get to work on, you know, like, improving this wall to keep any, any would-be assailants out. Um, but until then, I hope that you all enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, because, uh, I'm enjoying this game, and I hope that you are enjoying watching me play, playing it. But until then, I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye!